Thanks. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about football a little bit and about graphs. And I don't really know how many people use graph databases, but I'm just going to do a bit of uh, introduction so um, you can play later with the data and, uh, well, you'll see. <laughs> so I, uh, this is me, well, Mile introduced me, so just this is all. <laughs> and first of all, uh, thank you so much to everyone who made possible this event, which is really difficult to organize um, a lot of things for a lot of people, especially the meals, which is really difficult to, <laughs> to measure. So thanks, thanks for having me. Um, so what work can you expect of this talk? Uh, we're going to talk about home advantage and about uh, com competitiveness in, in this talk. I don't know if you follow football, but I think everyone is familiar, well, at least in Europe, everyone is really familiar with the sport. And um, just, I will, we will talk about the data too, so you get more familiar with those, those measures. And we will do that uh, using the new 4 j um, power, which is a graph database. And I, choose, I chose those, uh, those stats because uh, when, you, when you use a graph database, you are uh, looking for relationships between uh, no, so I think those, uh, those uh, both the stats just reflect really well these um, these kind of relationships. So uh, new for what? Uh, new for J is a graph database. It's a private company, but you can have a free version of uh, of the database. I, I build. You can build that in your computer, and it, you can build that online or in. AWS, which is really easy to do, and you have uh, you normally well, I normally have this kind of data which is tabular, and I have tables and I have data frames, but I'm going to pass the data and use some kind of uh, of this, and what is this? This is uh, nodes where where I have, uh, oops. I will not go there then. <laughs> and I have some kind of, I have nodes and relationships, and it's really easy. I mean, if two nodes and are connected, then we'll have a relationship between both. And in this case, I have um, a leak, which is the pink, or yeah, the pink, the pink node, which is the, in this case, is the Premier League, which is the England uh, Football League. And I have, some uh, uh, matches, which which are the the yellow nodes, uh, which uh, in the and the relationship is in league. I mean, I I relate, I connect those those nodes. Uh, I say one match is in this league, which is the Premier League, mm -hmm. and then I have uh, two two teams who play, which play uh, who play in, the, in this league in this match. I mean. I have uh, here the Manchester United and Liverpool. One is home play, home team, and the other one is away team, depending on and on the stadium uh, that we are playing in. And beside the nodes and the relationships, I can have some properties in each one of the nodes on it or the relationships. And in this case, for example, I have this match which is I have an ID for that match, I have an away score, a date, and a home score. And later, I added uh, the season two, because you know the season just starts on September and finishes on June, July, depends. And because it's not the whole year, then I had to add the season, so I don't get lost in the, in the, whole, in the whole year thing. Uh, but yeah, the, the main thing is that you have nodes which have relationships and, 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 and properties. And that's awesome because you can, you can filter and you can do some kind of stuff uh, without adding more nodes or without adding more relationships. I mean, if I had to add the away score in a node, it would be like a mess. 
Okay, so this is my model, and this is the, the, the base on, on one, what I'm working on. Um, what, what, syntax, what syntax do I use when I, when I use uh, Neo4j? I use Cypher, and we are going to see a, a, a very, very easy uh, sentence. And the thing is uh, that I'm not looking for, for uh, columns or for rows, then I'm, I'm looking for pattern recognition. That's why I don't use SQL, I use Cypher in this case. And I, I know there are other graph databases with, which are not using Cypher, but they kind of have uh, this, um, how do you call this, this open petition to everyone use, using Cypher because they think it's the best. They think so. So uh, what do I have here? I have a movie and I have a person who, who attend in and I have a, dir a director. And they, they are, the three are connected by that movie. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, and I, I'm going to use a really, really simple sentence to, to get that kind of, uh, of uh, subgraph, which is this one. So I match, which is the same as select in SQL, if you know SQL. Um, I get match and, and I use um, P as a person, which is a type of node. Uh, then, and this, this, uh, this node has uh, properties, and one of them is name, which is some hanks in this, in this case. I could use born to. And I hope, OK. And then I have uh, the relationship, which is acted in. I want to, to, to get the, the, the person. I, I want to get the subgraph uh, that is person who acted in movie. And I want uh, I have acted in and which uh, which oh I missed a bracket there I I, I can see that now but <laughs> I I use it um, and because I don't want any other relationship I want the one that the role is forest and then I used finally this is connected to uh, the movie <laughs> which is released in 1994 um, in Neo4j. Uh, the, the, the relationships are directed. You cannot do an undirected one. Uh, you can do both um, both uh, directions of the of the relationship, but you cannot do the undirected un un relationship. So you always you will always have uh, the arrow point, and then you have to return something, which is P in this case, because I want the person. And this is the, the most um, basic uh, sentence you can get in, in Cypher. Well, with all the properties and everything. So, um, well, are we, I, I will be using R2, uh, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Um, I will be using R, and I will be using the Neo4R uh, uh, API wrapper, which is developed by Colin, which is one of the organizers over there. And, and the first version is on CRAN, so I thought, that's good. People can use it now. <laughs> but it's really, really early stage, but you can do a lot of things. And you can import your, dat your data into, into your R script, which is awesome. And well, we'll see. <laughs> and yeah, you can download it there in the, in the GitHub uh, page. So what can we do with Neo4R? Uh, we can connect, of course, with our database, and we can uh, query, which is the, the basic thing you do in a database. Uh, the query works both, uh, both the, uh, directions. You can query to get data, or you can query to put data in your, in your uh, database. Um, so you do that with the, the call Neo for, for J. Um, then you can, which is really awesome because you get Normally, you get from Neo4R, you get JSONs, uh, and everybody knows JSON and R just doesn't mix. <laughs> just uh, they 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 work every every everyone in in the side. Uh, so you get the unmess um, <laughs> the unmess thing uh, with uh, with unmess nodes relationship and, and graphs. And the and when you get the 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 lists. 
which are normally uh, they come from JSONs, and then you get you you want the data frame because working with lists in in our well, personally I, I don't like it, but you can you can nest the uh, the list and then you get a data frame, and then you the, the most important thing is that you make everything. Uh, are readable, and then you have the you have a really nice um, uh, wrapper to to transform your your data into our data, where you can mess with it, and you can transform it in an R graph. With um, you can visualize it, and without going outside your your uh, environment. So okay, so we'll talk about the data now. Um, I won't talk about uh, what I did in R, but I, everything is updated, so you can just go to my GitHub and just download everything. Um, okay, so I kind of kind of Sima. I uh, I have a league which is from a country, and then I have matches which is the yellow the yellow node, and then two teams are in that match. That's simple. <laughs> And then how many how many leagues? I have two leagues: uh, the, Sp the Spanish league and then the English league. And from each one, oh, I have 99 teams between both, and I have almost 20,000 uh, games between both uh, uh, leagues. And I have from 1993 to um, 2018. So that's what uh, what we are working on. Okay, so first thing to do is talk about home advantage. Um, so many, I, I hope many people is familiar with football more or less. Anyone who, okay. <laughs> so what is home advantage? Um, so this is a kind of uh, something you you can believe in or you don't. Uh, uh, but the truth is that when you are in a stadium, uh, you uh, you play in your home, and then you get all your fans, and usually they get the the coolest seats. I mean, they get uh, look at this picture, and the, this is Barcelona Atlético de Madrid, and you can see everyone, uh, every fan of the of the fan. Is it called the fan? Fun in, in Spanish, okay. <laughs> and uh, you get every, 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 everyone cheering for the, for the Barcelona. And over there in that corner over there, you, you have the seats for the Atletico de Madrid uh, uh, people. And this is really a, a stream case, but not usually it's like this. I mean, if, I don't know if you have seen or been in a, in a, in a match, but uh, they place people together so they don't uh, get into fights or whatever, and they usually play the away fans in like way over, whoa, too too far away. You cannot hear them and you cannot see them. So we could say it's kind of state of mind, right? When you when you have people cheering for you, and then you 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 are big yourself, and. Um, we want to see that is it a state of mind or the data just realizes that too. So um, we're going to see. Um, there is another thing that uh, uh, is more of a um, how do you s how you see your team your team playing. So when you're winning at home, you are happy. Okay. When you're winning away, you are way more happy. When you're losing away, it's like a meh. They will win at home later, but when you lose at home, it's like, oh my God, everyone was cheering for you. You are losing at home, and yeah, and the data just reflects that. Um, we can see here in La Liga, which is the Spanish league, and um, this is the difference between um, this is the difference between uh, the matches won at, at away and won at home. I mean. Uh, so you you win, uh, for example, the first orange, which is uh, Barcelona. They they win uh, zero point 
11 more, uh, more uh, um, uh, matches at home than away. And it is reflected in almost all, all uh, teams. Um, over there you have Extremadura, which is, I don't know, sometimes they are in, in the La Liga in the first year, and sometimes they win <laughs> at home, but they don't win a lot, so. <laughs> Uh, but you have uh, here in, in Orange, you have uh, the, 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 uh, the most important matches uh, uh, teams of, of La Liga, which is uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico de Madrid. And, sorry. and you see they, they win a lot more at home than away. And the same thing happens with the Premier League. Um, in the Premier League, it's, it's exactly the same thing. I mean, nobody goes. Uh, uh, behind zero. No, no, it's, there is no more winning away than at home. Everyone wins more at home than away. And here you can have the stats. The Arsenal and the Liverpool and the Manchester United are the, mo are the most important um, teams in the Premier League and they win. And they win more at home. I, have, I, I compare, but I thought, um, you win but you win everywhere, so that doesn't count, right? But no, they win more at home. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, and this picture is really funny because there is the, the Malaga uh, playing in, in Germany and the Germans have this kind of scary thing seeing I'm watching you. And yeah, and they lost. <laughs> so the another thing, um, we can do in, in the graph database is uh, talking about the competitiveness or oh, competitiveness. Um, so, um, uh, what happens in when in, in those leagues where a lot of, mon of a lot of money is moved and um, uh, well, there are millions of of, of euros uh, in every contract. So, um, what happens is there are some. Uh, some teams are they are too strong, and there are some teams that are, are too weak for the first year. Um, and this is as an example of, of this kind of stuff. Um, you can have, well, you have 38 matches in the in one season, and you can have at most um, three points for every match. So you have 38 but, uh, but, uh, times three, which is 140 something. And, and, and then you have uh, this kind of uh, seasons where Real Madrid and Barcelona, they got 100 points, which is almost the top. So they won almost every, uh, every match that we played at which is really, really not competitive because if you are going to lose anyway, then why play, right? And if you see the, fir uh, the first and the second, and the second um, team, there is a lot of difference there. I mean, one is 15 points and the other one is eight, which is a lot. Um, so we're going to measure that and we can do that because we are going to build another model uh, where the relationships are more specific to, to competitiveness. So, we say two teams are connected if, first, um, one wins the other, and in the comeback, uh, there is a draw. There, there is a draw in every, in every match, or just the reverse, uh, uh, the other team wins and there is a draw. So there is a least, at least one point for each, uh, for each uh, team. Uh, you get a point if there is a draw and you get three points if, there is, if, if you win. Um, so what do we see with this? Um, we see um, if in both uh, matches at least there was a draw or, an ad or at least there was a win-win. Otherwise, you won both matches and there is not competition in that. So, if you are more connected, then there is more uncertainty. 
to to in in both matches in the in the matches. So, and if you are less connected, then you are winning everything or you are losing everything. So, we looked at the, we looked at oh, we looked at the data, and we can see that it really is true in 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 our minds. <laughs> There are some strong, uh, strong teams and there are some weak teams. And in this case, we have here Valencia, Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona, and Atletico de Madrid, which are uh, the, the, the strongest teams. And then we have Las Palmas, Eibar, Alaves, and Malaga, which are the, the weakest teams in La Liga. And same thing happens in Premier. Uh, you have the Manchester City, Liverpool, and uh, the Tottenham, I think, is, a, is one of the strongest two. And the, 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 the other three are just the, the, the most weak, the weakest. Um, so that is reflected in the data, and we do that with, with graphs too. And we can see also if the, the difference between, um, between um, uh, the, the strongest teams and the weakest teams is going up or going down. I mean, if the, the money and the, and, the, uh, and the players just are too, way too better for the tier or, or way too bad for the tier. And we can see it's, it's getting closer, so there is less competitiveness in the, in the last seasons than before. So more, ti more teams win both games and more teams lose both, both games. And finally, I don't know, the, my time is right, I don't really <laughs> count it, but okay. Um, uh, my, 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 uh, my, work, my, my boyfriend there built a docker and where you can, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm not used to do that, so. <laughs> Uh, built a Docker which uh, you can download and you can play with the Neo4j and the DR script, which is my script where, where I could uh, where I did all this analysis. Um, and as soon as it's ready, I, I will put that in in GitHub or whatever. But in the meantime, you can play with the data in you can download the, the scripts from the GitHub. And finally. Uh, Congratulations, France, because you won the World Cup. <laughs> and it was a little risky to come here to talk about football because you won the World Cup and to talk about a package of one of the organizers. <laughs> so I hope I'm okay now. <laughs> so thanks so much. And yeah, and please check the, 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 um, the scripts and just add some, some, some other uh, stats that would be really cool. Thanks. <laughs>